Now let's get started from where we stopped by adding windows, doors, and probably roof and some other elements that is needed in our building. And the first thing to do is you go to under design again, look for your windows, you can see your doors, and you can probably see the roof icon too. Let's click on the window. When you double click on the window icon, <coughs> double click on the 3d view be able to see the kind of window you want to select now there is no window selected go to the Akika library 12 look for the windows openings you can see plastic window then go to casement window most times i use french window for my designs now click on the any type of window you want for your design <coughs> now for the purpose of this project i'll be using this french window hop air now from here you can set the parameters which include the width of your window put in 1200 then you can set the height of your window depending on the height and the sea light of your window which i'm going to use 900 and let me return sorry let me use sea light to be 600 then my height to be 1500 depending on the kind of window i'm using and the specification of what i want to do let me just pick it let, let me pick the window again okay 1500 and leave it like that now go to the parameters <coughs> go to the parameters you can set the casing of your window if your window has casing to either both side or outside casing or inside if you click on both side that means there will be casing on both side both the interior and the exterior of your beauty now click the icon under the casing then you look look for the parameters you can increase them if you so wish there is 100 you can turn it to 150 depending on if you want to change it or you leave it at the default value now scroll down the other things you need to change which is material this material means you have to change it just because when you're rendering and you export your model with material setting if you do not change your material everything will look the same so you change your material just because of your rendering purpose sometimes for all those other materials you can follow it the way i'm doing it or you can select the material you so wish for my glass material <coughs> i use glass blue for these i use surface white too surface white depending on the one you want and now you can go back to the preview and position and look at your window if you like it that way then we are set to fit the window in see first window second window that's for the bedroom now the window for the toilet how do we fix that that means you have to go back to the window pane then you look for the windows that you want to use for your bedroom and um, for your toilet now for the toilet purpose let's use the height to be 900 then the width to be 900 also or you can so wish you can change the width to be 600 then also the height to be 600 then if you also want casing you go to the casing menu change it to both sides then the material you can change the material to like we did for the bedroom window now still on the material you can change it depending on the kind of material you're using as you can see Akikada has a lot of materials now you can go back again see what I've created to go back again to set some other parameters like the board, the shutter, the machinery arc and so on you on your own you can try to exploit all those settings but for the main thing I don't think you might need all those other things so click and drop drop your window at the point now let's go to the 3d view right click then you go to the 3d window <coughs> now as you can see my 3d window is not visible that means i've not selected any camera go back to the camera then you right click you go to show all in 3d now you can see what you've created this is what we've done so far we've been able to add window now look at the window for the toilet here 
there's one thing wrong with it that means the C light is not correct double click on the window icon hop here then you can correct that in the C light that means you still have 1200 is it correct? no 1500 because your C light plus the height give you 2 1 which is the total height of the window level now you can see it's correct now so let's go back now let's give the approach a kind of nice view a bit let's try and add doors try and add doors to our design for the entrance door we can decide to use a um, wooden door or depending on the kind of door you want to use now locate your door i'm using wooden door wooden internal door now it's just 900 door i'm using so you can decide to add casing to you we'll change the material first now let's go to casing both sides then let's change the material and depending on the kind of material you want to use is it wooden material or just normal paint material now you can decide to change the glass material to wood too in case your door is wooden now that is our door our door doesn't have any handle so you go to material again go to material sorry you go to the parameters and then you look for door handle <coughs> on the door panels and you can select the handles these are the styles if you want the style to be visible you just go to internal door settings then you go to door frame then door panel you can see the panel if you want the normal panel or this if this is the type you are using you can select that then the style of your handle as you can see you can de decide to choose anyone you like <coughs> let me choose that and you click OK and you drop your door assuming you are using the same entrance door for your toilet too you can just drop it there so let's go to 3D and see what we've done show all in 3D this is what we've done you can see our door now this is what we've done let's see the height of our door Let's try to increase the height to 24 to rhyme with the window height. Now, that is what we have now. Now, the next we can just include is maybe some columns that will hold our roof at the entrance porch. So let's add like two columns and probably a beam, maybe arc or a straight beam now let's look for column 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 you go to object then you go to building structures and structural material you can see different columns there now to project from zero means the level the offset from the ground level which we've created with our slab so you click ok if your parameters is okay then you drop it you can now move it to the point let's see what we've done if it's correct now you can see our column is floating now check the height of your slab it's just 150 that means our column have to go back to 150 offset from zero it should be 150 and you click ok now this is our column but mind you a beam is coming over the column so you have to reduce the height to accept the beam coming upon it so the height is going to be reduced by 600 so our column is 24 if our beam is just 600 now go back again you drop you can control d control select one of the column control d control to copy to drag a copy and you drag it to the other side you go to show all 3d again that is what you have now the next thing to do is to, to draw your beam upon it you can use the beam tool or you can use the wall tool by using the word tool, what you do is you double click on the word tool, then you go to the project from zero will be 2400, then your wall is going to be 600. So 
the dimension is still the same too for what thickness then you click ok and you can draw on that the way I'm doing it and stop it over there now let's go back to show all in 3d now this is what we get see it is a bit not correct that means the project from zero is supposed to be 2550 and you raise your water 3150 hope you understand what I just did there so this is what we have now as you can see our, our building is looking nice so you can decide to add your roof now there are various ways in which you can add your roof you can when you select the roof to you see one two three four this is for geometric metal dome or barrel vaulted roof this is just for poly roof like hip roof and some other roof like that then for these you can have your you can use this to create your gable roof and just for the purpose of this tutorial you click on this automatic roof so what you need to do is just you select all the junction sorry all the corners of your wall select all the corners of your wall then in the if overhang you select 600 because that is going to give you your if dimension so you click ok and go back to the 3d view and let's see what we have that is our roof but it is not correct why let's check the wall is 3150 click on your roof again then you elevate your roof 3150 yeah the roof is now okay now as you can see the roof is looking too awful let's increase the click on the roof again then go to the roof icon you can change this to surface white to make it look nice as you can see now that is what we have <coughs> so that's the end of this other section of this tutorial thank you and remain close to this video page you're welcome